What's up everybody, this is your girl Flawless and I'm back again with another video. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday? I hope some of you are doing something productive with your day, maybe going to church, I don't know, but something productive. Alright guys, so it is 919 Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm just now waking up. Um, Like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys like this video. Be sure to DM me on Instagram, giving me video ideas that you guys want to see from me. And I will try my best to deliver. Also, if you guys didn't like the last video that I posted before this one, please go ahead and do so in advance. Thank you. Well, guys, everybody knows the drama that's been going on with CJ So Cool. Everybody knows that he cheated on Rosie. I'm not going to say allegedly because he cheated. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. Yesterday, he dropped a video that titled, Everybody Hates CJ So Cool. That's cool as long as Royalty loves me. Now, in this video, he did what we all knew he was going to do, and that was proclaim his innocence and that he didn't do it. Somebody set him up. Now, I'm not going to lie. I actually did believe him at first because I'm thinking, yeah, he right. There's no evidence against him. There's no proof that he did anything. But then, I took a screenshot of the conversation between him and the old girl. And the address, even though we can't see the full address, but the address that he gave her is his actual address. And I found the proof. Your boy lying to us. He really did cheat. But we all know he wouldn't admit it. He has too much to lose. So why wouldn't he? Now... He dry snitched on himself a few times, and one, one of the um times is he said that there was evidence against him, that there was proof, but then he turned around and revoked that and said, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Like, huh? Then he said he looked up old girl's name. I'm thinking, well, how do you know her name? They didn't include that in the messages between um you and her. They didn't have that nowhere on the shade room or anywhere. So how would you know her name in order for you to Google what she's done in the past? You know her name because she was fucking with the girl. Let's just be honest and put it out there and call it for what it is. He was messing with her. That's how he know her name. Come on now, CJ. We're not stupid. Um. So yeah, for you guys that didn't see the video, I'm going to go ahead and play what... The Shade Room teens have, I believe, maybe it's like a, a a minute, a minute, a minute long. I'm not really sure. But if y'all want to go ahead and check out the video, just go to his page. It's all lies. We already know he cheated. But I'm going to go ahead and play y'all what I um what's on here. And then I'm going to provide you with pictures that the address he gave her was real. He really cheated. So let's go ahead and do that have been made against me and I'm just gonna start this video all by saying of course none of it's true I mean I'm not perfect neither are you and that goes for men and women and kids watching my videos but I will not accept um, someone else's judgments on me or my life or someone else's um, blatant lies basically what I'm trying to say when someone starts making rumors or lying on people the first thing the population does is they believe it they believe whatever the first piece of news is that they can get. Oh, snaps. He was cheating on his girl. I believe it. Did you actually take the time to see if the source was even credible? I mean, that's what the police would have did. You just can't go to the police station and say, well, you can. You can say I saw somebody do something, but they're not going to just take your word for it. Even if they act off of your word, they're going to investigate. So what I'm trying to say is a lot of you guys are being part of so that's the end of the video. Now. We can all see that the address above the message, Terry baby. We can see that it says 1121 do and fo. F-O. But we can't see the, act the actual address. I found proof, I found his real address, and the pictures and everything match to how the house look. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see that. I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I don't feel like I need to talk anymore. I've already said what I wanted to say. And I feel like the reason why a lot of CJ So Cool fans are hurt, because I'm not going to lie, I'm a CJ So Cool fan, you know. And like a lot of other people, I look up to him. It's like somebody that I admire, you know. Because he makes himself seem like he's so perfect, you know, like he can do no wrong. Like he's just living a life. He's a, um, a role model to me, which is honestly sad if I'm being honest. But I feel like that's why myself and a lot of other people that look up to this man is, is disappointed. Because it's like, how can you sit there and just be so fake? How do you act so nonchalant, you know? How do you sit here and you tell say all this stuff you tell us not to do, but you do it yourself, being a hypocrite? But that's neither here or there. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, guys. Um, this is your girl, Flawless. I love you guys. And stay tuned. Bye.